Hello, and welcome to the Yonatech video series. I'm John Yonan, and today we're going to talk about the Cisco command line interface. First thing I'd like to talk about are shortcuts. Let's open up this router, bring it into view. Right now we're in user mode, and if we were to type in E-N-A-B-L-E -E and hit enter, we would go into uh, privileged exec mode. But oftentimes you don't, you don't, uh, you want to have shortcuts. You want to be able to get to the next thing quickly. So if I just type E-N, and if I were to hit enter, I go to privileged exec mode. Now, of course, like we, we spoke about in the previous video, I don't have security turned on in this uh, simulation environment. Uh, you would absolutely want to turn on security, uh, password protection, the uh, privileged exec mode. But in this uh, situation, we're going to we're going to just leave that off. That will be in another video of security. Okay, so now that we're in the privileged exec mode, if we want to get to global configuration mode, we would normally type configure terminal, right? But we can do we can use a shortcut. If we just type in C O N F space T. Cisco's iOS recognizes that as configure terminal. So if I hit enter now, we are now in global configuration mode. Now the same thing happens when we use the tab key. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, we're going to move back one level. We're going to type exit. We'll talk about that in a second. If I were to just do let's say uh, SH and I hit the tab key it's going to take me to the next line it will complete that that uh, that word so anytime you have a situation where just like enable EN and I hit the tab key it'll take me to the next line all right now let's talk about the question mark. Uh, let's just back out here. If I were to hit the question mark here, it will list all of the commands available in the current command mode. So let's just put in a question mark and voila. Lots of different commands I can use right here in the uh, privileged exec mode. Now you'll notice that more at the bottom. If I were to hit the enter key, it's only going to move one more uh, command down. But if I hit the space bar, it'll do a page down. So that's something that's pretty important. Enter key takes you one uh, command down. The space bar takes you uh, another page down. Okay. So, what if we were to type, let's say, the, the letter C and hit the space bar? Well, this is going to list all the possible choices that start with the letter C. So let's try that. I'm going to hit the, space, the question mark now. Okay, we've got clear, clock, configure, connect, and copy. You know what? Let's use clock, all right? So if I were to hit an L and then put the space bar, it's going to list all of the possible choices that start with the letter CL. Here goes the question mark. Well, now we only have clear and clock. Is that starting to make sense? So let's... Uh, Let's complete that. Hit the tab key. Oh, that didn't work. See, it doesn't understand. You're only at CL. It doesn't know which CL to complete. So you're going to have to type CLO, and then you can hit the tab key, and it will complete that, that command. Now, 
what are we are we done can we hit enter here well we don't know let's hit the question mark again oh there's a set command okay so I guess we have to type the word set s e t space now is that it question mark ah we've got to put in the current time okay well where I am at it is let's see 21 colon 59 colon we'll just go zero zero space question mark oh what day of the month is it well today is the 29th space question mark what month is it well this happens to be April space question mark what year it's 2016 space question mark and check that out it says CR with a greater than uh, I'm sorry a less than and greater than sign uh, around it CR stands for carriage return so it's saying you know what there are no more commands here you can just hit the carriage return key and we did now if we were to go back and do a show clock in fact let's do this sh tab what's available I can see clock right here and it displays the system clock I just set it so it should be pretty close to what I I set although I did have 59 so it's probably after 10 p.m. now uh, it's saying more if I hit the space bar it's going to take me all another page another space bar there are a lot of show commands but if I type clock now CLO tab key are there any more keys no carriage return enter and there you go all right so that is the use of the question mark let's uh, let's see what else can we talk about how about the exit command we were just using that a few moments ago if I were to go into configuration terminal mode or global configuration mode with conf T enter let's say that I want to move back uh, one level well I would type the exit command exit hit enter have to hit enter a second time and I'm back at the uh, privileged exec mode um, you can also go back another level you can continue to move back with the exit key now I'm back at user mode now I've also um, uh, found that you can use other things like control C in certain cases and the end command as well to back out uh, you can also use the disable mode let's see we go into enable we go into configuration terminal and what if we type disable first of all let's okay disable is not available in this particular mode we'll hit spacebar we'll go back one level now let's do a question mark ah there it is disable turn off privileged commands hit spacebar disable hit the tab key enter takes us one level back all right let's see another one that we can use if you wanted to run through and I I don't recommend this but you could do the setup mode uh, if you're in the uh, 
privilege exec mode, I believe you just type setup, enter, yes, and it's going to take you to the setup mode. We're going to say no here, but that's what you would do if you wanted to move uh, into the setup wizard. And one thing that I do want to talk about, though, are history commands, which I know work here in uh, Packet Tracer. All right, so if you were to type, uh, you, you notice if I hit the up arrow key, if I hit the up arrow key, it will remember the previous commands that uh, I have typed in. Up, 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 down, down, down. Okay? Uh, now, by default, uh, it only remembers, I believe it's a maximum of 256 characters, and I believe it's the last 10 commands. I believe that's the uh, history buffer is set to the is set to 10 commands by default. Um, however, you may want to be able to do say 25 commands. So so what do you do? Um, well, you can type in terminal. And by the way, let's just do a question mark here. And here's terminal set the terminal line parameters. Okay, so we're going to type in terminal space and we're going to type in what? Let's do the question mark. History space question mark size. Now size uh, you would type in si, whoops, s-i-z-e space question mark now you put in the size of the buffer. You can have 200, I think it's 256 commands. Uh, so let's let's just do 25, okay? Anything else? Nope. Carriage return. Enter. Now this router will save up to 25 commands that you can hit the up arrow key. Everything that we've typed in, up to 25 of them, it will save. All right, very good. Let's uh, let's take a peek at the show command. This is important. Uh, let's do show version. Okay, we'll do show space question mark and. At the end, there we go, there's version. You can see all the other things that you can look at in the show command, a lot of different things. Uh, but we're gonna do show version. It's gonna show the system hardware and software status. So I can type in VER. You'll notice there are no other V, we could even type in VE and hit tab it's going to complete that for us. And that's it. I'm going to hit question mark. It's going to say carriage return. We hit enter. Now in the show version, let's just get this done. Okay. Show version, it's going to show you various things. Uh, iOS software version, it's going to show uh, what version of the read-only memory, the, boot, the system bootstrap it has. It's going to show you the name of the system image file. It will also show you some, uh, it'll tell you exactly what model this is. Uh, processor, it'll tell you, uh, you know, what kind of memory usage you have going on. Uh, it's going to tell you what the interfaces are, how much NVRAM or non-volatile RAM you have, as well as, uh, you know, how much flash memory you have. This is also important, the configuration register. Uh, that's often uh, important when you, you, when you go to, you know, perhaps uh, you've uh, forgotten a password 
and you want to change the password, uh, that config register uh, will come in handy. And we'll do some uh, password resets uh, throughout this series. So that's show version. You can also do, let's do show flash. This is what's actually stored in the system in flash memory. And of course, we can also do show history. And it shows the commands that we've used in the past. Um, that's about it for now. I think you get a pretty good idea uh, as to how to move around in the Cisco command line interface. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, post them in comments below. If you have uh, an interest in learning anything specific to Cisco products, I'm happy to uh, uh, create a video for you uh, if it makes sense. Uh, please mention it below and I will do my best to uh, to bring it off bring it up to you okay uh, in any event uh, that's it for this video uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe uh, I'll be coming out with many new videos in the near future all right take care everyone bye bye